In this demo, we're going to show you how you can migrate an existing integration services project to make use of the project deployment model. To start this demo, let me go into Business Intelligence Development Studio. And once we're in Beats, you'll realize that I've already opened a project. And this project is open in the legacy deployment model. Now, if you have an existing project and you open it first time in Beats, it will go through the Visual Studio upgrade process and then you'll launch the SSIS upgrade wizard. And when the SSIS upgrade wizard completes, you will see in Solution Explorer an integration services project that is using the legacy deployment model. In order for you to convert this project to make use of a project deployment model, right click on the project and choose convert to project deployment model. This dialog will prompt you to tell you that look, we are going to move the you to a project deployment model. And as part of this migration to the new model, we are going to help you by launching the migration wizard. Now, once a project is in a project deployment model, you will be able to make use of features that are available in the project deployment model. This includes the ability to create parameters, to make use of parameters. And at the same time, for all the execute package tasks, you will now have the ability to refer to packages that are in the same project. Let me click OK. This launches the migration wizard. Let me click Next. And the folder location will have been populated with the location where your integration services project is. Let me click Next. I will select all packages in this project. Click Next. At this point in time, we have gone through all the packages that are in the project. And it has analyzed the package and said that, well, all this package that you see here are using a execute package task, which refer to some package that is in a file system location. Now, because in the project deployment model, you now have the ability to refer to packages in the same project, you can then choose assign reference. And in assign reference, you say that, well, this master package is really going to run a child package called load dim customer. And the next execute package task is really trying to run a package called load dim products. And the next one is going to run a child package called load fact sales. When that is done, I will click next. At this point in time, this page is trying to say, let us take a look at the packages that you have. And in this case, the DW load master package. This package has already a configuration file defined and is pointing to some location which the migration wizard is not able to access. And that is why the status shows missing configuration. Now, you have two choices. One is that either you put the configuration file in the location specified by this configuration string and click refresh. Or you can say that, well, I make use of runtime configuration. Why don't you help me to analyze this runtime configuration? So I click Add Configuration. Let me choose Browse. And I said that I'm going to make use of this DW config, which is the SSI configuration file. Click Open. Once that is done, you'll realize that it's able to open the file and it's able to analyze this configuration that you use at runtime. And that's why the status is OK. Now, before we move on to the next page, what you'll see at the bottom of this page is this checkbox. And if I were to click on this checkbox, what this means is that after the migration wizard has successfully created the parameters in the next page, I want the migration wizard to remove all the existing configurations that are in the package. So I click this and then choose next. Now, in this page, what it's trying to say is that I have analyzed all the configuration files that you have specified those that the migration wizard can access. And I have found that one of this configuration file, which is the one that we have added earlier, is modifying the initial catalog property of a connection manager called localhost or EDW. And at this point, I can create parameters for the package. I choose create parameter. And let me call this parameter EDW database. And once this parameter is created, I can say that, well, this parameter has a default value. 
if I click on this drop down, you'll realize that it has populated it with some values. These values are actually obtained from the configuration files. I click OK. Now before I move on to the next page, you might want to say, well, I have all these packages in which I've created parameters. What are the parameters that I've created? I can click Browse Parameters. And you'll see that this package, which is called DW Load Master, has a parameter called EDW Database. The type of this parameter is string. I'm happy with this. Let me click OK or close. Now that I've selected the configuration, I've created the parameters, I've updated the execute package task to refer to packages in the same project. Let me click next. At this point, it gives me a summary of all the steps that will be performed as part of migrating to the project deployment model. I'm happy with this. I click migrate. So right now, what the migration wizard has done is it has gone through each of these packages, done the migration, converted the execute package task such that it make use of a project reference. It has created a parameter called EDW database in the package called DW load master. And migration is completed. If I click close, you will see that now this project is using the project deployment model. At this point in time, you could choose to say convert back to a legacy deployment model. Or you will notice that now that you are in the project deployment model, you now have the capability to define project parameters. You have the capability to launch the deployment wizard in order to deploy a build integration services project to a SQL instance. Or you can choose to build the project. In this case, I'm going to choose build just to make sure that everything is correct. You see that build started, build succeeded. At this point, we have successfully made use of the migration wizard to migrate from a legacy deployment model to a project deployment model, and we have successfully built the project. Thank you.